people looking at parallels to what we did with Aer Lingus and Norwegian are, are misguided. Right. Uh, it's very different. Um, the companies were very different, mm -hmm. very different targeted. Uh, our ambition, very different as well. I, I like Norwegian, uh, like the brand. Uh, you know, Bjorn, I think, has done a fantastic job. Uh, so, you know, we, we bought a small stake, which we still hold, uh, but I've been very clear that if we don't progress to a full takeover, well, then we're not going to retain a, a stake in, in Norwegian. So there's not a lot more I can say, yeah. uh, but, you know, if you've looked at the uh, evolution of the Norwegian share price in recent months, yeah. uh, it's been on a pretty constant decline. Yeah, um, there, was a, there was a little bit of interest in it last week when there was speculation, I think, that uh, somebody was going to bid against us. Uh, I've been very clear, if, if somebody wants to bid against us, I'm not getting into a bidding war, so we've got, you know, if anybody wants to buy uh, shares in Norwegian, just make us an offer. Uh, but we're not going to get into a bidding war. Um, you know, we, we, we know what the, the value of Norwegian is to us. We're very clear on that. Um, and it's, it's not uh, a deal that we have to do. Uh, so, we, you know, we'll wait and see what, what happens. But I think you're going to get clarity on it in, in the very near future. You know, I said last August, that uh, you know the issue was going to be resolved within 12 months, mm -hmm. and you know when you say within 12 months, you don't mean it's going to take 12 months. So uh, you know we're, we're, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Bjorn's a fantastic guy. Yeah. I've uh, great admiration for him. I think he's done an incredible job building up that business, and th and they have proven that the you know the consumer will will buy into the, the concept. Uh, you know they've struggled to make it financially successful. Um, I, I've personally taken the view that the 787 was the wrong aircraft for them. Uh, I think they, uh, you know, we, we've, we've gone with the A330-200 mm -hmm. uh, in level because, uh, you know, when you look at ownership costs and you compare that to the cost of fuel, yeah. you need a very, very high fuel price for the 787 to, you know, to offset the difference in the ownership cost. Yeah.